Good evening. We're going to introduce you to the Motorola APX 7500 radio, which is being provided by the Missouri Interoperability Center for the Missouri Statewide Interoperability Network. Uh, these radios were procured through a state homeland security grant program and provided to the emergency departments and health departments across uh, Missouri, in particular northwest Missouri, which is the 15 counties uh, in the northwestern part of the state. So well, this is a brief tutorial uh, kind of introducing you to the APX 7500 that's in your emergency departments as well as in your health departments. It's not an in-depth tutorial. We're just going to cover some of the basics. And as the course goes along this semester, we'll be able to get into some more of the functionality and probably give you a, um, a look at the APX 7500 in its native environment in the emergency department, potentially even in a mobile command unit. So let's take a look at the front panel of the APX 7500. This is what you're going to be seeing. Um, you've got the volume knob up here on the left that adjusts the volume of the external speaker. Your microphone port is right here. Uh, this is where the microphone plugs in. Here's your power on and off button. This is your home button. It'll always take you back to what your pre-programmed setting is for your home. Uh, in our region, it's set up on a talk group called Region H IO Call, which is pretty much the interoperability between all the public safety answering points or dispatch centers here uh, across the state, or this part of the state. And it's also that way in the other nine highway patrol troop regions. This button here, uh, right here with the little light bulb and showing the lights on is the dim button that dims the, the display here. That way, if you have it mobile or if you have a dark ER, uh, you can turn, the, turn it down. Across the top, you got your radio signal strength indicator here. This is showing you operating in non-secured mode. This is your scan, your GPS functionality, whether if you're using GPS or not for location. Um, this is your Motorola P25. This will be your zone that you're in. And then the APX7500 will actually be the channel that you're in. Across the bottom are your soft keys or your quick keys. These are self-programmable. And again, depending on how it came out of your radio shop or your vendor, the accessibility of what you have to be able to program these two um, will be individualized to your emergency department health department by your vendor. Most of the time these soft keys, at least in this part of the state, are used for quick access to different uh, talk groups or frequencies, uh, channels, if you will. Uh, that way you don't have to go all the way through the zone, hitting the zone button, channel knob, to get all this change the zone, you can hit these pretty quick. So VMED 28 may be on one, uh, your region HIO call may be on two, Missouri IO call on three, the county, your ED, your health department's in here on the fourth, quick to touch uh, button, uh, and so on. Again, turning the radio on, this says it's the power on and off button, it's not down here at the bottom, slide is incorrect, provided by Motorola. Um, so this is your power on button, and when it powers up, you should see something like this. One thing I do want to point out, do not press this button unless you are in an emergency. Uh, if you accidentally press this button, uh, hold it down for eight seconds. It will clear the emergency. Otherwise, the entire trunk system in the state of Missouri will be flashing emergency on every dispatch display uh, from northwest Missouri to southeast and northeast to southwest. So I don't want to do that. And plus, you're going to get all the kind of the cops all excited about what's going on in the emergency department. Well, it also helps if you are having a problem in the emergency department, you can press that button and you are going to get all kinds of cops and you know, all kinds of responders to assist you. Um, you know, when you validate your power up, you know, you just make sure that all the screens come up and all the lights are on that are supposed to be on and everything looks like it's supposed to be. Uh, if you get any errors, uh, it comes up, immediately contact your vendor and make sure that they uh, get out there quickly enough to make sure their your radio is operational and functional. Adjusting the volume, obviously if you see lights and stuff lighting up on the screen of the display and it looks like somebody's talking and you're not hearing anything, chances are somebody in the emergency department not going to blame docs or anything like that but they probably turned the volume down because it was too loud they didn't want to hear it sorry docs but that's usually what happens here in our state so sometimes the nurses do it too but i'll take it easy on the nurses um assessing the program functions again this will take you back to your home button and these are your soft keys your menu select button and each one of them are going to be different based on how the radio came out of your vendor um the zone Right here, this is an important one. If you hit zone, this top part will be flashing where it says Motorola P25. That lets you change the knob here. This will rotate you through the different banks or zones in your radio. And then once you get to the zone that you want to be, hold or tap this button once. Don't hold it down. And it will put you in that zone. 
and then the APX7500 will show you the channels in, or the talk groups that are you have available in that particular zone. Uh, also, you notice the scan button here on the soft key. It shows the radios in scan mode here uh, in this particular display. Again, the home button will take you back to your home button. A lot of times here in Northwest Missouri, again, that's on Region HIO call, or it could be set on your county call button. It all depends on how your radio comes from your vendor. So that rest requires some familiarity with the radio whenever it comes out. But there's not a lot of information out there and training on it, so that's why we're working with our hospitals here with a healthcare coalition, Northwest Missouri, to improve the uh, end user use of the APX 7500. Here's a typical mic. Um, don't worry about these buttons down here because most of the mics that we have just come with the push talk button and it's real simple. You push the talk, you let go to listen. Just remember you need to make sure you have permission to talk and you'll hear it, it'll be a little warbling sound that you have made access into the system, you have permission, uh, wait about a second, make sure you're not clipping your voice because that way on the receiving end they get all the transmission and then you just let go of it to receive then you just repeat the process to continue your communication. Short, clear, concise communications are what you want to do. You don't want to use a lot of air time as you're talking. Then this is some different identifying status indicators there. The receiving shows you've got voice data or other type of data coming in. Transmitting shows it's going out. The receive signal strength indicator shows your relationship to the particular tire site that you're working. And a lot of these other ones you're not going to see. The scan one's going to be a pretty positive one for you. No secure operations uh, are allowed except in law, certain law enforcement operations, and that's talk group specific, and most of those aren't going to be in your EDs or your health departments. Again, this is uh, some of the features that aren't going to be used, the secure operation, uh, data activity. Uh, you know, data activity is set up for um, FirstNet, which is the LTE network for first responders, so at some point it is going to come into play where data is going to be broadcast over an LTE network via radio frequency, uh, electromagnetic waves, and we'll be able to receive information in our EDs, um, pictures, things like that, different types of data. Solid red light, radio is transmitting, so if you're sitting here looking at the radio and you're not using the radio, obviously look around and see you're sitting on the mic, the push to talk button is down. Uh, if it's on the mic clip that's attached to the radio and it's still solid red, go ahead and shut the radio off because obviously you've got a problem with the radio. Rapidly blinking, solid yellow is... Uh, busy, blinking yellows, radio is receiving a secure transmission, again you're not going to see that, and then these bottom three, um, well especially the bottom two, you're not going to see a whole lot of because we don't particularly use that feature here in Northwest Missouri. Selecting a zone, again it all depends on how it came from your vendor. In this particular case the soft catch key here on the right shows zone. Again, use your navigation or your channel knob rather to move across the top. You can see your zone here that'll change. Motorola P25 will change to uh, Region HIO, Missouri IO, uh, Harrison County, uh, VTAC Interops, VTAC Interops coded squelch. All depends on what zone you are. Once you reach the zone that you want to be in, you tap the home button and then you can go through the channels or talk groups that are in that zone and put you in there so most time you're going to be on VMED 28, you're going to be on HIO call, you're going to be on ATMS 1, 2, or 3 or even VMED 29 depending on the situation and the incident communications plan which is what we call the ICS 205 here within our region and again this is showing the radio is in the scan mode. Selecting a radio channel, we just kind of talked about that. Use this channel knob here. It'll actually put you through your zones, or excuse me, your talk group, um, or channels, or frequencies, whichever you want to call them, right here on the bottom. Again, this is your zone. These are your channels. Uh, responding and receiving a uh, radio call, we talked about that when we talked about the push to talk button, and uh, the pretty general radio operations, and hopefully later on as we go through our um, introduction to the APX 7500 will uh, see it in its native environment and you'll actually get to see the use of the radio and hear the radio and how it works. One big thing to remember if you have it on scan you're going to see this little mark here at the top show up at your screen you press the soft key one time that will disappear you're no longer in scan. So the only thing you're going to listen to or be able to hear is the particular talk group or frequency channel that it is resting on. 
And that's it. Uh, hopefully here in the next couple of weeks, as the course moves forward in the semester, we will take you out into the native environment of the APX 7500, which is uh, the local emergency departments and health departments, and potentially even a mobile command unit. With that, we uh, hope you enjoyed this first uh, wiki edition of the APX 7500 from Motorola.